This JTV News update is brought to you by Enagico Insurance, the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Eureka Medical Center, Colonial Insurance, and Flow. This is another JTV News update and today we're on a Yes Van Dyke, a favorite place for many, not only here in the British Virgin Islands, but persons across the Caribbean and across North America and elsewhere in the world. This year, this weekend, Foxy's is celebrating 50 years and Tom, tell us all about what the celebration is going to be like. We know they could not have gone without putting on something big this year for that anniversary. Well, that's very true, um, Kathy, and, and welcome to Foxy's. Very, very happy that you're here, as always. <laughs> um, this year, it, it's uh, as everybody in the BVI knows, it's a really tough year to have a big party, but we did it for Old Year's Night, and we're going to do it again for the 50th anniversary, which is this Saturday. Um, the ferry is going to be running all day and also into the evening, so you can come over. Um, we're hoping to have uh, steel pan, um, in the late afternoon and going into the evening. And then um, Vibe, which is the most popular band in the BVI at the present time. They're going to be playing here uh, from about 9 o'clock until 11, 11.30. We'll see how late it goes. Uh, New Horizons Ferry Service has provided a late night ferry for us. So if you're on Tortola and you want to come over and um, enjoy the evening, enjoy the band, um, and, uh, and have some of our great food, um, we're going to be offering the buffet. Uh, it's going to have our usual barbecue items, but also fish and fungi. Uh, we're going to have some curry goat from goats that are born here on Joss Van Dyke. <laughs> so we're really focusing on a more local, more BVI kind of thing that shows off um, Foxy's connection to local culture, local music, um, and really uh, you know, brings the vibe of why he has been so successful for so long. Okay, well, I guess the better thing now after hearing of such a great event that is planned, well planned out, Tom, kudos to you. You've been doing such a wonderful job here. Let's now go and hear from Foxy's. What has taken him 50 years here on Yas Van Dyke with Foxy's? All right, this is the usual welcome everyone is accustomed to that knows about Foxy's here on Yas Van Dyke. Him with a guitar playing and whistling. Well, welcome, JTV. How are you all today? <laughs> we are great. Foxy, you're celebrating 50 years. Older than I am. <laughs> uh, 50 years for the bar, oh, not yes. for me. Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, we yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a great experience. Yeah. Tell me about that journey. What were some of the key things that resulted in this business being such a success for 50 long years? Oh, what I can say, perseverance, faith, mm -hmm. and more than anything else, Jesus. Oh. If it was not for him, I couldn't make it. And then I got some good friends like you from America, one by the name of Paul Craddock, who have treated me good in the beginning. So. I'm curious to know, how did this business got started? How did it get started? Years ago, we used to have what they call a harvest festival for the islands. And I got to age where I wanted to have a booth car every year. They would have a booth entertaining people from St. John's and Thomas to Tola and would come for the Harvest Festival. This one here, I had this little boot called Mom's Boot Fox's Bar, drinks 25 cents. This is around 64, 65, I guess. A lady came up to me and said, add a little kitchen to it, and I would get my husband to start bringing people to the island, and you play your guitar and serve them drinks, and I'll serve them lunches. I said, I don't want to do it on the beach. At least a piece of land on the other side of the road, and I'll do it. At least a piece of land for a dollar a year. I mean, a dollar a month. <laughs> yeah, $12 a year. And uh, before you know it, I started the business. But when you look the night of the opening, I saw my first cousin kill my god brother at the bar before the bar was open. So I never ever counted those years. So I started to build this up there because the 
George kicked me out. And I put on this one. I started building it in 67, opened it in 68. The rest is history. It did hit the Cleveland Plain Dealer um, for the opening day. Okay. And this bar has gotten quite a number of international recognitions. And in many instances, even the top destination for the BVA. I got a lot more to come. Oh, wow. I, uh, for instance... <laughs> The um, um, a magazine, a company in the States, Vineyard Vines Magazine. See, they featured me in, the, I'll show you behind the guitar case there, in their, um, their catalog last year. And I'm getting in with them. I'm coming out with a T-shirt of me and Kenny and a cap and an album that I just cut in a package and they're going to help me sell it to b build back my school of music for the kids and to start turning your Van Dyke into a preserve. Yeah. Nothing else but preserve land, education, and agriculture. That is what I am starting to work for, for those who's not born as yet and those who's creeping. That's why I'm going to specialize in seven things. Health, education, conservation, fishing, agriculture, housing, transportation. As soon as it farm, it will create a school. As soon as that school is created, those kids would start breaking grounds for Jos van Dyke University to teach those seven things to students from around the world, and those students that uh, break the grounds would own 40% of that university. Okay. You have a great vision here. But I heard, I said this to uh, some people, and I heard when a man said, we could help with that. I asked him what his name was. He said, my name is Mr. Toyota. Ah. I signed a book for him, Foxy and Yosemite Knight. Went home, next day I came back, the manager, Tom, said, you know the guy you were talking to last night? He leave his business card for you. And uh, he is fine, mm, mm, uh, vice president of financing Toyotas in the Americas. And he leave you $5,000 to start the agriculture part. I put five of it. And you can see the amount of bananas I got in, and you got to go around the corner there, and you'll see all the terracing, the amount of work I did in one year. Wow, great going. I think the people of uh, Yes Van Dyke and the greater BVI are very, very happy with what you're doing. Hallelujah. Yeah, but tell me, tell me a little bit about the album that you're producing. What could I tell you? More than a good buddy of mine, <laughs> uh, Tony Martin, he's in Atlanta. He bought a piece of land and built a farm on it. And in this farm, he built a house and a, um, like goat and sheep and stuff like that and vegetables. And he put down a big recording studio. And he asked me to come up to um, Christen the recording studio, in other words, to make the first album. So I said, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to come up with a special song. And knowing that Oma had just passed, I said, that is the subject I should put my energy into, and I did it. But before, I'm going to show you what Cruising World magazine said about the song, so I don't know if you want to hear it. Oh, Let yes. me show you. Okay. A category 5 hurricane, the lyrics began. The remainder of the tune is not suitable for a family magazine. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I'm telling you, you have to know about uh, it. Okay, but just make sure that I, I get a copy of that so that I can hear these lyrics. Okay. Uh, Foxy, this weekend is the big celebration. Say a word to the people out there why they should come over here at Yes Van Dyke to celebrate. You should come to your Van Dyke because 50 years on this little island, a little barefoot <laughs> map head fella started something and it's still going. And uh, although we had two hurricanes, I am sure you can come and help me celebrate. Okay, take us out with the tune and the whistle.
JTV News Update, I'm Kathy Richards. In the islands, JTV brings us the best news. Well now, I know I am not wrong. Why I can listen to JTV all day long. And JTV, TV, don't mean a bluff. I'm telling you for years, you've been doing a damn good job. Well now. <laughs> Well, I'm telling you, you are at the top, and please, God, don't you stop. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When it comes to your health, being uninsured is never an option. Listen to some sound advice. Magico's Nagicare is one of the best medical insurance plans your money can buy. We offer you solutions to medical coverage benefits tailor-made to your budget and preferences so that the next time you visit a doctor, you can rest assured that we've got you covered. Visit our website, Nagico.com, or contact a Nagico office or agent near you. Nagico Insurances, we've got you covered. Here in the Virgin Islands, we are blessed to live and work in paradise. Paradise just doesn't mean our tranquil blue waters and green hills. National Bank of the Virgin Islands defines paradise as any place or condition that fulfills your aspirations. To me, paradise means knowing that I will have a financing partner when I'm ready to open my first business. I feel confident that I can manage whatever life throws my way because I know my bank will be with me every step of the way. That's why I choose National Bank of the Virgin Islands, the official bank of paradise. My future's looking so bright, 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 bright with the official bank of paradise, nice, 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 paradise. National Bank of the Virgin Islands, the official bank of paradise. If you're looking for extra savings and free benefits with car insurance and home insurance, Colonial has just the cover you need. There's a free $250 gift voucher for new home insurance customers too. And 10% car insurance discount if you have home insurance. With a claim service that's quick and friendly. We call it cover without added costs. Call for a quote on 494-8450 or Virgin Gorda 495-6403 or visit cgigroup.com. Colonial, where people come first.